Stuart, what's going on? Oh, hello. Uh, we're going for a play down on some sea cliffs at Swanage. Um, lots of climbing gear, lots of sleeping gear, mm. because we have in tow two little porter ledges with their covers here. So we're Wonderful. gonna go his and hers porter ledges down on the cliffs, a bit of a play, a bit of a bit of a practice I suppose to see if we can get the system nailed. Um, so a lot of kit to take. That's uh, obviously got to clip onto the cliff. So this has to go in our rucksacks to go down there. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, right. Since since the last update, we've moved car parks uh, because we have been so advised. We got the port ledges uh, are on the rucksacks. Mine's on full DV style. Anyway, time is 7:46, and uh, we're now having planned to be on the wall set up by four. <laughs> we're just about to set off for our kilometre and a half walk to the crag. Oh God, any any final the the any final thoughts? Bugger. <laughs> It's a bit breezy, isn't it? <laughs> that was my spine stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. So we have identified a place to set up a certain little path there. There's a little ledge or a little quarry and the cliff over to the sea. So here we are, Stu's setting up the uh, anchor for the evening. So I'm in my portal edge. Stu is down there. Like that. <laughs> that, that little gremlin sleeping under your bed. You know they talk about monsters under the bed. My my ledge seems to be tipping up. That's no good. Here we are inside my portal edge. It's uh, relatively cozy. Cup of tea and some chocolate buttons which I can't pick up because if I put my tea down it will tip. So I'm at a slight angle, more of an angle than, than you'd hope. Um, Stu's below me, best place for him. Oh. Yeah, talking to myself. Uh, he's just he's causing mischief down there, I don't know what he's doing. Good morning from uh, from the portal edge. Um, survived the night. No one died. A bit noisy with the uh, with the sea. And there's a fidgeter in the bunk below me. It keeps moving everything about. But you know, other than that, very enjoyable. Uh, had to be attached uh, all night, so put my harness on there. It was a bit awkward to be all sleeping back, but. Very nice views. Good morning, Stuart. Good morning. How was your How was your night? It was uh, my dreams were water feet. Um, it was quite noisy with the sea, wasn't it? Pardon? <laughs> yeah, so luckily I found a pack of earplugs in my little first aid kit. So yeah, I me too. Earplugs in. Because without them, it's just really quite deafening. These waves below us, which you can probably see in the video now, yeah. are um, really quite big and noisy. But yeah, it's alright actually. A good sleep. Um, my ledge was quite flat, so 
I unlike unlike mine. Unlike yours, so I didn't keep sliding off the sleeping mat. But you know, toast and warm, even with even with this attached, I'm still wearing my harness, even with this attached, it's quite long, um, you don't really notice it. No, I, I was pleasantly surprised. Yeah. So um yeah, it's good. Comfy night. Yeah, lovely. And we've just had a pork pie for breakfast. Oh yeah, it was lovely. Now pack of crisps for breakfast. Oh yes. Pork pie and crisps. It's Stuart trying to do more up between two portal ledges and a rucksack. Living the dream. He's trying to haul the bags back up after a pleasant morning in the portal ledges. Here he comes. Rested and relaxed after a night in the ledges. I feel really, it's like being at a health spa. All that water therapy. Go on! Yes! A couple of Muppets walking to a crag, two water ledges. 